welcome to this episode of Fishy Girls. Today we're teaming up with the seafood cartel here at 49ers of Ale. They're gonna show us how to make some delicious sonata style ceviche. So what we have here is a crispy homemade tostada, blue crab tobacco spread, fresh fish ceviche caught by our friends Fish and Girls. And, and we're teaming it up with some fresh fish tacos. So stay tuned. How do you take the samples? for this episode of Fish How's it going guys? Welcome back to Fish and Grills. We'll be teaming up with the seafood cartel this episode, so the targeted fish is gonna be Nainui, which will be turned into ceviche. We've also used this fish in a previous episode you might want to check out. So this fish, the gray chub, or in Hawaii we call it nainui, is found worldwide in tropical and in subtropical waters from all across the Polynesian islands, Indonesia, Malaysia, Australia, Korea, China, and Taiwan. fish is an herbivore, feeding on certain types of algae and seaweeds. These fish are usually found traveling in schools around the reef, darting out and around the caves and near shore breaks. It has an oval-like shaped body with a compressed head, pointed snout, and a large fork-like tail covered in thick silver scales. It's a pretty powerful fish and known to grow up to two and a half feet in length. The Hawaii state record came in at 12 pounds, caught off the shore of Maui back in 2003. Grey chub or Ninui is a local fish to the Hawaiian Islands and was typically reserved for the fishermen, hunters, and soldiers. It's a super meaty fish with firm white meat, mild in taste, and packed with proteins and minerals. The nenui is commonly prepared on the grill, but also can go with sashimi or poke style, or in this case, ceviche. Aloha, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Here we have our nenuis. We're gonna flay it up, dice it up, bring it down to the seafood cartel. They're gonna make us some ceviche. With my pualus, we're gonna make some nice sized fillets, some tempura. We're gonna complement it with some delicious fish tacos. Stay tuned. Here we have the Inui, we're gonna flay it with the scales on. It's a nice back heat for when you wanna skin it. Take notes. Now that we have it off the body, we're gonna get it off the scales and the skin at the same time.
All right, we're here at 49ers IL. I'm hanging out with Amanda with the Seafood Cartel. This is the Nui that we caught earlier in the week. All is ready, set, go for her to do her thing. Okay, guys, let's get started. I'm stoked. Thanks for having, having me here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do to make the beaches is that we gotta cure our fish. So curing what it is, is that the seafood cooks in fresh lime. So let's get started. This is the fish that they, those guys caught. This is freshly squeezed lime. I know that the guys last time they used the bottle lime and that was highly controversial. <laughs> so that's why they had me come in today. So this is a freshly squeezed lime, but we did it right beforehand. Okay. It's the real way out of the CB shade. Just add a little more. So actually this recipe, I'm born and raised here. My dad is from Pro City, but my mom is from Sonora, Mexico. So this is where this recipe comes from. Unreal seafood. If you guys ever have the chance to go to Mexico, go to Sonora, go to San Carlos, and you won't be disappointed in the beauty, in the food. So I dump, I put all the lime in here, and what I'm gonna do now is add some Hawaiian salt. And this just helps with the, the curing process and gives it more flavor. So, I mean, like always, salt is just eyeballing it. Yeah, everyone has their, their preference. And then a tip I have for when you guys um, are curing your fish, make sure you guys just mix it really well because sometimes the fish sticks together and then there's pockets where the lime doesn't get into. So you have cooked fish and then some raw parts, which no one wants. So just make sure you mix it real good. Okay, so we're gonna leave this sitting for about half an hour. And then while we leave this sitting, I'll just go over all the other ingredients. We got some tomatoes. Onions, cucumbers. We like to make sure that everything is kind of chopped in the same size, same portion, because we want everybody to be equally proportioned and have a little bit of everything. So that was tomatoes, onions, and cucumbers. Now we're gonna add some Chinese parsley. For the spice lovers, you gotta have a hot opinions. I would, I would put more if it was just for me and my family because we love spice, but this is just the average, average portion. And then the last thing that we're gonna add while we wait for our fish to cure is, this is the secret sauce. So I kind of give away all my secrets, but this is the sauce that we use. It's a mix of different types of condiments and different types of salsas that you can only find in Mexico. So it's legit stuff. And this is the mixture we use to add to our vegetables and yeah, I think it's what makes it special. Add it in. Okay, so there we go. Let's wait another 20 minutes for our fish to finish curing and then we'll come back and see how it tastes. Perfect. And cut. Take one with the rosemary on it. Notice that the fish turned white. 30 minutes has passed and now the lime has cooked the fish so it turned into a white color. And now we can mix it with the vegetables that we already have ready, right here. You can go ahead and put all the juice, the lime, everything in it because it just gives everything a lot more, more flavor. Well, that's like 70% fish. Then. This For you guys, yeah. <laughs> but, these, but this batch it is. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a nice fishy one. So now that we have the ceviche ready, I'm gonna make a tostada for chef to try, okay? When you guys order from me, each ceviche, each order of ceviche comes with some homemade tostadas, like this. And I also sell a blue crab topico spread. So what I like to do is I put a pretty generous layer of the spread on top of the tostada. Super creamy, super tasty. And it just goes really well, in my opinion, with the, the flavor of the ceviche. Okay. So we'll put our ceviche right on top. And to top it all off, we have our black sauce of death, which is another secret sauce of ours. Spicy and tasty. <laughs> okay. 
There you go. Wow, amazing. All right, let's give this a shot. Woo! <laughs> perfect, perfect blend. This is the crab dip, ceviche, the crunch. Best I've ever had. If you're interested in getting soft some of this, check them out on Instagram, the Seafood Cartel. The link will be in our bio. Check them out. Woo! <laughs> oh no, delicious. With the leaf in the hair too. <laughs> That's good. Thanks for joining us today. We had a blast. Good times, good drives, good people, and as always, stay tuned for the next episode of Fishing Grills! Yay! Start it up! Is that a flick or a wrist? Flick it off first, is that? <laughs> like a one. Flick it like 30 minutes doing this. Like a one. Flick it forward.